All right, so I'm gonna be going over how to use Widget Smith on iOS 15. Now, before we get into this, I do wanna let everyone started an iOS newsletter, so if you wanna get in on that, I'll throw a link in both the description and comments. And of course, if you could smash the like button in this video, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so Widget Smith is basically an app that allows you to create widgets. There's a few different sizes. First thing I wanna do here is show you I am on iOS 15, so let's get that out of the way. And uh, let's take a look at Widget Smith. Now, this app has a ridiculous amount of downloads on it. I think it's got over like 300K if I'm reading that right, which is absolutely insane. So a lot of people out there like this app. I mean, uh, needless to say, right? Now, when you open it up, you have a few different options. Like I said, you've got a small, medium, and large. Now, there are some different things you can do with creating widgets on here. Now there's some date clocks, there's some health and fitness, you can use photos, there's a battery uh, icon that you can use as well. Now I'm going to start things off here with the photo option because this is always been one of the most popular things you can do create your own photo widget so we'll just uh do a quick one here then i'll show you a couple more examples now i'm just using my shiba inu uh you know that's the crypto right there and um when you have like your widget created you just go to widget smith and then you're going to see the three different sizes i clicked on the medium one you hold down on it you click edit and then you select your widget that you created so it's pretty much that simple so that's the first example next one we're gonna do here is a small one so we're gonna get a little smally in here a little small fry okay so i think i'm gonna do uh the battery one so like i said you have a, some different options here daytime health fitness there's a battery icon and some other cool things now you also have some different like themes you can use i really like this blue theme so we're gonna check this out now, let's get get this added All right, so we got to hold down on it. All right, let's check it out. All right, pretty sweet, right? Okay, now let's do a large one. So we've got the medium, small, and we're going to go with a large. And I think that we'll do uh, maybe like the sundial. A clock or the sundial is pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with the, the sundial here. Okay, so... Um, I'm actually going to change the color on it. I like that blue a lot. Now, you do see some paid options in here, but you don't really need to touch those. You can just stay away. All right, let's add the large here. All right, once again, we got to hold down on it, select it. This is going to look pretty cool. Oh man, that looks awesome. Now I do want to also say that you can add multiple uh, widgets that you create. You just need to select them. So I'll throw another example up here, right? So I'm going to create another one for the medium size. We'll do another photo. I'll just choose another photo option here. I guess we'll go with the, the Shiba Inu. I've got a lot of pictures of this, obviously. It's kind of weird, right? All right, I'm going to click save. And um, now what you can do is hold down on the medium widget. You can click edit and then you're going to see some, you know, the other option you created. So you could just kind of like switch between those options and boom. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically it guys. I mean, this is fun to do, fun to use because you can create your own widgets. Um, there is a paid option on it. Like I said, it's really just to get, you know, some of the, the locked uh, theme options, but I wouldn't even waste your time with it. They charge you like the monthly and yearly. I just, I don't think it's worth it. Just use the free. Um, and that's it. Uh, definitely recommend using this on iOS 15. It's fun creating your own widgets. If you guys could also smash a like button on this video, like I said, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.